get cozy everybody because today we'll continue on with a game called the cradle ruin and it's a charon game <laughs> i think we're done with route a route b yeah according to my notes here we've already got all the clear password letters so let's uh, put on the letter thingy yeah this is the additional star do you want to enter the passcode yeah the passcode is E L D R A No no yeah that was stupid D A R C Try to do it by memory <laughs> Looks like it was a bad idea Let's see The young boy stands in the white world, nothing is just in the pure white world except for the heavy snow. Why white text on a white background? He can hardly see anything around him. His sight is blocked by the snow. Thick snow all around the year remains on the ground, impeding his steps moving forward. Maybe it was a good idea. He isn't moved by the world outside, although this is the first time he sees it. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to go outside. On the contrary, he feels despaired because of the severe cold he feels for the first time. Friends, mother, all his families are dead. Even Suda? Living all alone in the world, his heart is nearly consumed. It's literally consumed by this snowstorm. Well, guess this is the end, fellas. Is here heaven? I don't know, man. It doesn't look like it. Feels miserable to be heaven. Or... Or what? Tokyo. Huh, so this is our destination, Tokyo. Great job. Hey look, it's our mother. Hey mom, what are you doing? Why are you looking at me while I'm dying? Help me. <laughs> are you gonna help me or what? Are you just gonna sit there and just watch me die? <laughs> mom? Mom? Don't be happy while I'm dying. Help me. I'm being serious. I'm about to die of hypothermia. Do you know what a hyperthermia is? Well, I'm experiencing it right now. Mom, don't just stand there. I mean, sit there. Help me. Literally. Come on. Oh, come on. And so she disappears. Crap. God damn it, Mom. Morning, neighbors, dog. You guys are early. Now what? Well, this is taking long. There we go. And dot 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 row Hachara Whoa Can you hear me Hachara? You're going to start over again in this world and open the safe box in mother's room. If it is you, you must find the truth. Don't forget you have promised me. So we're going to start over and look for the safe box, okay. Do you want to keep the conditions start over? Yeah. Wait, conditions. Wake up. Oh, okay. So I guess I'm probably going to have to skip this. If that is the case, this morning I already should get up. Yeah, it is the same. So, yeah. I think we're going to skip this part. Where's my bunny buddy? There's no bunny buddy, that sucks. Engraved engine room. Okay, fellas, here's a question. What kind of cleaning utilities needed to clean the engine room? Give up? A vroom vroom. <laughs> Oh man, I thought about this for like what? Nights now? <laughs> oh, boom, boom. The huge save box. Do you still remember the promises with mother? Yeah. The save box is open. There is a key in it. What is this key for? 
take a close look on the label it was written shower room you get the key of shower room okay so can we go to the shower room now use the key of shower room ah my back okay now that we're here your face is reflected in the mirror with a weak and sad expression the bathtub, there's still cold bath water in it. Something, something. The washing machine. Does mother use this to wash everyone's clothes? I mean, yeah, it is called the washing machine for a reason. In the closet, the bath towels are neatly folded. The door of truth. You might never come back again if you go in. Are you ready? Do 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 do. Degeneration. <gasps> My buddy, buddy. Yeah. Little buddy, buddy. What is this? Oh, you are amazing. You did keep the promise with me. Welcome back, Otaro. I have always been waiting for you. What about the other Mega from the other part? You don't want to go anywhere. Oh, man. It's sorry, waiting hard. I hope. God damn it. I'm sorry, fellas, if the recording suddenly goes weird. You don't want to go anywhere else, but if you want to, I won't stop you. You do whatever you want. I'll just watch you by your side. Okay. Huge crystal. 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 Should I talk to you again? You have the right to know. What do you want to ask? Who are you? Me? I'm your mother. I've been watching you. I've seen it all about every choice that you made in this world. It's okay, don't be afraid. I am on your side. What do you want to ask? Where is here? Here's where the blue star flowers blossom. Either, yeah, is that your favorite flowers? It is a place where you can face your own heart. You have always had horrible memories, haven't you? There's nothing to be afraid of as long as you are here. Calm yourself down, take your time at your pace. Yeah. What do you want to ask about the colorful rocks? Those colorful crystals are the substantialization of one's heart. Uh -huh. It is called ice black of the soul here. Happiness, sorry, spell it, sadness, fear, anger. There are different emotions in the ice blocks of the soul. If you look carefully, you can see someone's heart. What do you want to ask? Don't want to kill anyone. You are always dreaming about the future that no one dies. I don't think it is a bad thing. But think about it, is that really correct? Life is all about making choices. Even if someone went missing, life goes on. What does it mean to distort this fact? Even if that is not the right answer and you still want the happy ending, then keep making the right choices. That dream might come true. It's okay, that's why you come back here, right? It will go on well. About choices. Ataro, you must have heard about this. Life is all about making choices. We have to live to make choices, yeah. Those choices interlap with each other and become future. And those choices cannot be remade. Yes, yeah, I mean, isn't it proven that it can be remade due to me resetting all the time? You know enough about it, don't you? Only one single choice could distort or break the future. When you really understand the meaning of it, will you feel despair? Or will you be positive about it? What do you want to ask? Nothing. My buddy buddy. It is someone's ice block of the soul. You want to peek inside? Yeah. Let's see. Where has Suna's mother been? Who can tell me that? Come on. There you are. Where's your mother, though? Wait, where's your wings? The girl with blonde hair is still little, whose name is Suna. To her, even the fact of being knocked in this facility doesn't matter at all. What she wants the most is happy, exciting things and delicious food. She has a flawless heart that is frank, innocent, and pure. Anyone can tell you that. Yeah. I can't tell, though. I'm blind. You have to get up early tomorrow. It's time for bed. 
o Zé. Suna, what's wrong? Maggie, I see you can't sleep again, right? All right, come to me. Yeah. Okay. Maggie, I have one thing to ask you. Well, what's that? Do I have a mother? You are Hotaru's mother, right? Then who is my mother? Where's my mother? Did she go somewhere else? Ah, that is... Your mother is traveling outside. She said that when you become a grown-up, she would come back. I can't remember it clearly because you were very little. Huh, I had no idea. No matter her face or voice, I can't remember anything. Then before my mother comes back, I will be a good girl. Sure, your mother must be happy as well. Is she outside? I mean, she just said she was traveling outside. Well, yeah, I just said that. There's a blue sky out there and a sea with a lot of water, right? Angelica told me that. Y yeah, I think she must see the views around the world now. Really? That's great. I also want to go outside. You can't do that. It is very dangerous outside. That is not a place for kids to walk alone. How come? But I, I might be able to meet my mother. No is no. You might also die. Is that okay too? If you die, you can never see your mother again. Will I die? Is my mother okay? I'm so worried. I will wait for her. I will be a good girl and wait. I want to see my mother. It is unfair that only Hotara can be with his mother. Suna, don't you like this home? Don't you like to live with everyone? Can I replace for your mother? Can I be can I replace your mother? There we go. Thank you. Maggie, I love the most. It is really happy to live here with everyone. I like it a lot. However, it does not work like that because Maggie is Taro's mother. So it is not okay. Suna. Sorry. Holy crap. So hot for the mother. She makes a step by herself. Tired of the boring days and looking for something new, finding something to satisfy her curiosity. Then just like a nestling that nestling? Alright. That knows nothing, like a blue migratory bird carrying happiness. With a pure heart she waits for her mother to come back. Dream of being able to fly someday in the wide blue sky. Oh, so that's why she has wings for her uh, hair accessories. What is my dream? I have been looking for it, but I found it. I'm going to try my best to become a grown-up like Maggie. Then I will surprise my mother when she comes back. Okay, what a positive mind. Someone's iceberg is so, yeah. I'm a back. Can you see it? Nope, it's too dark. The dialogue box is in front center, so yeah, no. The memory of walking the heavy snow without any hope. The memory of falling in the snow and losing consciousness. Then the miracle happened. The miracle worker. The memory of flowers blossom. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Who is this? I want to disappear. I always wanted to die. I am so unfortunate, incompetent, uneducated. All because I didn't have love from my mother. I was passing the buck on to others. Even when I found love, I had been betrayed several times. My heart is wounded. Even if I tried to believe, to love, that was just a waste of time. After all, those are people who have nothing to do with me. Great people won't pay attention to me, and the trash won't change for me. Since I knew and understood this, I started to hate being here. I don't want to be born in such a world. I thought so. Till I know I have you in my tummy. I have you. You are in my body. It is warm and happy. I finally find a meaning to live on. My tears come out from my eyes. Where? For the first time, there is something that I want to protect. Things like being abandoned by that man don't matter anymore. The feeling of wanting him to disappear in this world or killing him don't matter neither. 
As long as you can be safely born, as long as you grow up healthily and happily, I am willing to do anything. I pray. Pray for your safety. Pray that you can be born safely, that's it. You are my last hope, is this our real mother? Watching the blood running from my body is just like standing on the bottom of an abyss. Don't take away my hope, I cry and pray. Even if I have to pay with my own life, I want to protect you. I cry every day. And I pray every day. I pray and pray and pray even so. The prayers fails to reach the God. Okay. Uh huh. That was something. This almost nice black soul, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Why aren't you going to kill me with that knife? Knife? What are you afraid of? With that determination, you can't protect your beloved child. Come, kill me. Let's see. Let me see the world created by you. Uh huh. Okay, what's happening? The girl with beautiful green hair whose name is Maggie. Hell yeah, you are. She has got two different memories. One was to be born in a warm family, to be raised as a human being. The other was created by an inventor, to be born as a bionic human. Whoa, what? Bionic human? But you still got metal in you, right? So how did in Route 8? Okay. There are not many people to be born with previous memories. Among them, she has the memory of being a machine. She's a cheerful and lively girl, often smiles, raised in a warm family. Holy crap, man, the wind outside is very strong. It's destroying the fucking ceilings and shit. The roof tiles. However, deep beneath her heart, there does exist the darkness that others can't find out. She used to have the function of killing people. If she released the parts on her hand, there is a gun. The machine does not have a heart nor tears. She was a ruthless muppet. She has always been feeling the presence of a rational, heartless, inorganic self. Then how did she become kind of human? Wow. Cute art style. Remember it was in the living room. It was a memory at home. That day the television was full of news that Hokkaido will become uninhabitable because of a natural disaster. The news was everywhere. Mother panicked and packed the luggage. Finally decided to go to the shelter owned by an uncle. Mother told me that my favorite teddy bear and clothes can't all be packed. Mother held my hand and walked to the shelter. The people of the town cried that this land is ruined and tried to find a shelter to stay. Everyone was in chaos. Okay. Now what? The shelter was surprisingly spacious with excellent equipment. Uncle takes the one other than women and children. I thought I could live here peacefully. Uh oh. Suddenly there was a gunshot. And someone's whining. The atmosphere changed. All the adults were killed, of course my mother. However, I didn't feel sad. There were only a few other girls and I left, and some newborn babies. Uncle said that those who want to live here must obey him. There were only unarmed children, just us, so we had to listen to him. You are going to live only to please me, what about that, sounds good? Everyone listened to his speech in silence. You. A red-haired kid with fierce eyes was targeted. What? Are you really a woman? Whatever. You are such an arrogant. I paid a lot to build this shelter and keep you here. To make you live and give you food. What a wonderful life. I am your god. Thank me. Annoying fat pig. Who would listen to you? You little- Oh, that's probably Mikori or something. You little brat looks like a man. Hey kid, stand in line if you don't want to die. Hurry, did you hear that? We stood in line. If you don't want to be killed, everyone take your okay. Take off your clothes. Uh okay. I knew it. I knew I I was thinking about the worst thing that could be hap that could happen here and yep, it did. It fucking did. You are naked, a deaf red haired girl was pointed at with a gun and took off her clothes. You are a real woman. Good, be my slaves. At that time a baby cried. Hey, who brought the baby? I should have said that I only need kids who can walk on its own. Damn, what trouble. Let me kill him. 
The uncle was holding a gun and approached the baby. On the way to this shelter, I've seen the baby's mother with a gentle smile. Her face flashed across my mind. Just like that, my body moved. Suddenly, I am filled with courage. I jumped at uncle. The red-haired girl and other girls also followed me. Wait, other girls? So, Maggie, Mikori, Angelica. Oh. So, I'm assuming the baby is us, Hotaro or something. To be or be beaten, be kicked, and get hurt. In the fight, I grabbed a gun and pointed it at uncle. He begged me, but I didn't listen. His body bounced up. Kept pulling the trigger until there was no more bullets. Until he died, no more bullets. All the other kids were just watching. There's nothing to be afraid of. There were only us left. I pulled my legs and walked to the baby. Mm -hmm. Okay, somehow a cyborg is able to fucking grow up and become a mother. An age. Uh -huh. I picked the baby up and smiled at him. Good morning, I'm your mother. Okay. The feelings out of hypocrisy had been reborn. How come it's hypocrisy? She's not a puppet anymore. She finally got a heart that can love someone else. By killing someone first. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, I will always be on your side. No matter what will happen, I'm going to protect you. Because I'm your mother. God damn it, why is she so hot? She's also a cyborg. Save it. God, God, God damn it, there we go. It's someone's ice block in the soul. Yeah. Bake it. What paradise? That's hilarious. How on earth will a place like this become a paradise? If the world is covered in snow? Yeah, sure, it could be paradise, this white little confined space here. So that's the red haired girl that glared at the uncle thing. Her name is Mikori and she has cold eyes. Her mother died when she was young and was raised by her father. Her mind and her body were trained simply to survive in this world. Everything was prepared for the destruction that would come sooner. Before Hokkaido was covered by that eternal snow, she was taken by a shelter. They started to live together with the girls who she met there. What happened to the other kids? The other girls? Or was it just these three? There were young kids like Sune and Otaro. They had a tough life every day. Mm -hmm. Oh, can I move? Nope. What a strange dream. I can't remember my father's face clearly. Neither do I know if he's still alive. I won't just wait for destruction. I must survive. Who gets that kind of fashion? <laughs> Who wears that? Mikori. That is her name. What, Maggie? I have something to say to you. I'm busy. Can you wait? No, what are you secretly investigating? Please don't sneak and do this kind of thing. What are you talking about? Don't hide it. What is your purpose? Purpose? I don't have any purpose. Isn't that your misconception? Don't say things that will mislead others. Oh, well, that was my misconception. I see. Then I'll let it go. Leave me alone. Just let me go. Wait, hey Mikori, do you still remember it to build a paradise? I thought we had agreed on this that day. Why do you try to be closer to everyone? Now, why can't we live together? If I have your help, you're able to help everyone. I hope you can come to help me. I am not good at staying in that kind of lively atmosphere. atmosphere. I'm not good at talking with people. I know that, but... Tara and Sun are not children anymore. It's fine even if I don't help, isn't it? No, not that. Why don't you understand? Don't be so loud. I do feel sorry to leave you everything. I'm sorry. Fine, whatever. My god, they're so tiny. <laughs> Why are you so obsessed with here, Maggie? So tiny. To leave this facility and go outside? Yep, that's the uh, plan. <laughs> I think that is better. The eternal snow fell on Hokkaido and the world is covered by snow. 
It was because we cannot live on the surface, so we come to this shelter. That is no question. However, it has been many years since then. Nobody's confirmed what's going on outside, right? Even if I want to go out, but it was her who keeps the keys. Ah, my bag. Why? Just talk with her. Yeah. Why not? Even if I tried to talk, Maggie's difficult to deal with. It didn't work. She didn't listen at all. She doesn't want to let us out. Everyone must be afraid of. Afraid of leaving this comfortable place. Maggie knows it exactly so. She wants us to stay here, maybe. Instead of making Hotara and Suna go through a rough journey, she might have found it better to stay in this faked happiness and wait for the end here. So in order to not let anyone want to go out, she brainwashed us with the word paradise. She's afraid that we are going to cause a change to keep Hotara and Suna from coming up with new ideas. What a mess. I don't want to get involved in her self-satisfaction. Face reality and go outside, or live happily here till the moment we die. Which one is the correct answer? Dunno. Well, if, well, if it's still snowing outside, then that means the eternal snow hasn't let up yet, right? So, you know. Every day is too peaceful. Don't even notice what has been forgotten. An idea struck her as she shivered. The interest in the outside world is rotting. Her brain is being washed by this daily routine. Is it really right to stay here in this facility? Life is never endless. Should we leave this place right now and take some more meaningful actions? She took an action to face reality, to control the future. Cool. I... will leave this facility, get out and find the truth. Then go to Tokyo. I must live. Cool. Good luck living. Save here, just in case I die or black out. Use crystal. Let's... No more peeking. Blue star flower is beautiful, just like blue stars. The flower says, love of happy, love of trust. Isn't it beautiful? I love this kind of flower the most. Yeah, you are. Matara, do you feel relaxed now? You can stay here if you want, forever. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't think I want that. No more peeking. Can I go through here now? Are you leaving? Only one choice, the future will be easily changed. For the happy ending, do you have the courage to face it? Um, uh, I don't know. I don't have the courage. That's right, there's only a nightmare waiting for you. You should stay here. Okay, cool. Because uh, <laughs> I think it would take a long. Because I think it would take more time, and I have to prepare for work now. So I, I have to end it here abruptly. Sorry, fellas. Because that's just how the way it is. Weekdays, you know. Can't really dedicate my life to just playing games. Gotta pay the bills and stuff. So yeah, if you want to try the game for yourself, the Cradle of Ruin. The links are in the description. That is all for today. Stay safe and take care of yourselves.